Hello and welcome to module two, the market essentials. This is where we're gonna be continuing that foundation that we started in module one. We're gonna get into the, the stock market fundamentals, things like PE ratios and earnings per share and kind of show you how you can use Yahoo Finance to kind of expedite that whole fundamental research process. Also understanding the ticker tape and symbols and how to read them. You're gonna understand the difference between going long versus going short and those two important terms that we carry forward in the whole program as well as a lot of the most common order types to execute your orders. We're gonna go through the ins and outs of buying and selling shares of stock and how this is properly done. You'll learn how to calculate you know, price and percentage, which is basically the, the formula for the mathematical just foundation in trading to calculate your return on your investments. Also, we'll address that basic question, you know, where does my trade go after I hit the fill button, which will bring us into showcasing the different exchanges and you'll see kind of the back end part of the business on how the market makers make markets for retail traders like us to have success trading. So we'll also discuss the important that you know, really the importance of volatility in the market and how that gauges your fear and how you can use the VIX and the VXN to gauge fear in the marketplace. And to top off that, we'll finish this module with you know, trading futures and how you not only can day trade them for income, but also how you can use futures to hedge your portfolio. There's gonna be some interactive demonstrations with the volatility in the future. So this is gonna be a great section. You're gonna love it. So let's go ahead and jump right in. First one you wanna learn is market capitalization. Next we have earnings per share, profit margin, PE ratio, earnings growth, peg ratio, price to book, current ratio, return on assets. Then we have beta, total cash per share. So going long means buying shares. Going short means you're selling shares. You wanna buy long stock. That means you profit when the stock rises. You wanna sell short or go short when you think the opposite very important to trade with the trend trade fundamentally strong companies buy stocks that pay dividends go long shares in bull markets sell short shares in bear markets make your trades with a limit order have an exit strategy for each stock you buy so ETF stands for exchange traded funds and these are basically investment funds that trade just like stocks they offer great opportunities for traders or investors to trade certain sectors or industries or even like actual economies. The first one, if you want to trade the Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, you can use what's called the diamonds, ticker symbol DIA. And then you have the S&P 500 ETF, which is SPY, also known as the spiders. And then you have the NASDAQ, which is known as the Qs or the QQQ. And then the fourth one there is the IWM, that's the Russell 2000 ETF. And then you have what's called your sector ETFs. And then you have industry ETFs, which are known as the iShares. You're able to gauge volatility in the marketplace by using what's called the VIX. The VIX is the tool that you wanna use to visually forecast and chart volatility in the stock market as a whole for the S&P 500. There's a very, very powerful relationship and marriage between the volatility and the S&P 500 using the VIX. Use the VIX so that you can understand where fear is in the market. Being able to utilize these tools to understand when and how to execute your trades is gonna help you so much and it's gonna make you more knowledgeable and you'll be trading like a professional.